Sharon Marshall's inviting you to join her on a trip to Corrie now where she knows the perfect place to grab a cup of tea and a breakfast balm and a soap legend. Today I am at Corrie and I have come a cropper, a Roy cropper, the man known for his bag, his baps and his big heart. Roy is knocking on the door of 30 years on this soap and today I have come to interview David Nielsen, the man behind the iconic character. As the nation reels over Roy's wrongful incarceration, we are here to delve into one of his biggest storylines to date. Oh, yes. Save our Cropper! It is evidence that Mr Cropper has a history of flouting the law and absconding. Well, David Nielsen, thank you so much for coming and thank you for joining our Soap Legend series. It's 30 years next year. Yeah. Did you ever think you would be here for this long? It was six episodes to start with, mm -hmm. but I, I, I did fancy, I thought, I wouldn't mind five years of this. Because it was beautifully written, it was very funny, and it, he, was, he was brought in to stalk Deirdre, uh, and he was like a Norman Bates character at the top of this house. Anyway, um, just give us a shout if you need out. Uh, last door, top of the stairs. I'm usually here. Right back to the beginning, as you said, it was this thing of, is he benign or is he, is he dangerous? It was creepy cropper. And yes, he was in, like, in your face and he stood too close and, you know, he, he just didn't quite get it. Forget this, I'll, I'll make other arrangements. M Mr Gilroy, where are you going? Mr Gilroy! Mr Gilroy! Well, I managed to take it into the direction that he's OK, he's, uh, you know, you might not want to live next door to him, but he's all right. And so after six successful episodes, Creepy Cropper became a part of the Weatherfield furniture and his character developed with the help of his real-life wife. Because my wife was a special needs teacher and she said, well, he, he might have Asperger's. He might just actually be very literal and not get it. And that it's quite innocent. Amazing little creature, the Pipistrum. Do you know... In one night, it can consume over 3,000 insects. Those details that have made us love him, the, the, the shopping bag, the, the, the bat loving, the trains, where do all those details come from? They came from the fact that he was always asking Deirdre if she wanted shopping. And I thought I'd rather have, uh, you know, this bag. He was just ahead of his time. It was a bag for life before, yeah. you know, it was just the way it was. And I don't know, I didn't intend for it to be sort of welded to his hand every time he went out. What is in it? Your scripts? Uh, yeah, a pair of marigolds. <laughs> Brought me on gloves. One of my storylines that really made me fall in love with him, it, it was the Haley. Originally, I think this was supposed to be a very sh short to running storyline. Yeah. When they decided that he was benign, and, and they liked the character. The law of soap says you have to have a relationship then. What I'd like is if eventually uh, you and me could uh, like possibly think of uh, having a relationship. The initial thing was that it was a device that he was going to run a mile when he found out that she'd been born mm -hmm. as, as a man. Mm -hmm. But the casting of Julie was brilliant and also our sympathies are very much with these characters for me it was about a uh, bullying mm -hmm. as much as any it's just difference why can't you be that you are the best partner that i could ever opt for <sighs> now shut up and keep that back straight they were very much about bringing in the waifs and strays, weren't they? Yeah, if they could, if they could help, they, they did. And they never really reject anyone. We know on screen he's yeah, taken these people yeah, in, he's helped yeah. the Beckys, yeah. and you and Hayley have taken people in the world, and he's a good man that tried to help this lost soul, Lauren. Yeah, yeah, and he would again. I think he would again. Uh, he's admirable. Are you under the weather at all? No. It's just that you haven't been yourself all day. I'm fine. 
admirable he may be, but in true soap fashion, this kindness, and, well, Roy being Roy, has led to a wrongful charge of murder. So what does David think of this latest storyline twist? He's his own worst enemy. I mean, he needs support from himself. I mean, he's, he's uh, yeah, he puts himself there. I'm amazed, you know, that I haven't been in prison before, because everybody else has. Could you sum him up? How would you describe him? Anyone I accept he's his own man. He's his own man. And he can't be any other, that's the thing. It's not like he can he can't act being, you know. He can, that's what he can't do. I love him and he's been very good to me. Just shows, you know, that people are all right, otherwise they wouldn't they wouldn't relate to a character who's essentially kind. There's a thing about, you know, be a bit more Roy. Cool dude, it seems. Do you think he was ever a cool dude? I just such a fabulous character. He is. Always has been such a fabulous character. Sharon, thank you for that. It was brilliant. Thank you.